let's take a look at another couple of group isomorphism examples. This one's fairly simple, but it actually opens up a whole lot of different things. Any cyclic group with n elements is isomorphic to Zn with addition mod n. I'm not going to go through everything just as much as we did on the last one. <clears throat> let's go ahead and let's just define my function phi going from g to Zn by phi of a i equals i. A has to be a generator. <coughs> for the cyclic group. Okay. I'll leave it to you to show that this thing is one-to-one -one and onto. Let's focus on that homomorphism property. So, if I have phi of a sub i times a sub j, that's going to equal phi of a sub i times, or a sub i plus j, that's going to be i plus j, but that's phi of a sub i times phi of a sub j. Now, I use the times for the generic thing, but remember, that is the operation after we've done the group up the isomorphism. That's the operation of Zn. I could just as easily have written it as plus, because we know the operation for Zn is plus. This is really, really handy, because this opens up any kind of thing. Any cyclic group with n elements is isomorphic to any other cyclic group with n elements. Well, sort of a, I don't know how important this example is, but it's kind of clever. If I look at the real numbers under addition, I'm going to say that's isomorphic to the positive real numbers under multiplication. That seems weird, because we always think of addition and multiplication as being very different operations. But it turns out that according to group isomorphisms, we can make these things up isomorphic. Because I can say phi goes from r to r plus defined by phi of x equals 2 to the x power. That is 1 to 1, since if phi of x is equal to phi of y, 2 to the x equals 2 to the y, and that just means x equals y. It's on to, since for any element of r plus, the log base 2 of y is going to be some real number, and if I do phi of log base 2 of y, that's 2 to the log base 2 of y is going to be y. It's 1 to 1, it's on to, and if I do phi of x plus y, that's equal to 2 to the x plus y. That's equal to 2 to the x times 2 to the y. That is v of x times v of y. And there we go. It's got a homomorphism property. So we've defined an operation that's 1 to 1 onto and has the homomorphism property. Therefore, those groups are isomorphic.